Kelly, how you doing, buddy? Hi, John. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see you up so early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, this, wait a minute, say this week up so early, right? <laughs> yeah, this week. Yeah, Kelly was supposed to be with us last week and kind of nodded off. And for, <laughs> uh, all kidding aside, you got a, a big event that's coming up at the uh, Jack right next to the radio station here on February 9th. A uh, fundraiser for Mitch Lindgren's uh, family uh, for his children's college education. Tell us what's going to happen, the time it all starts, and things that are going to go on. Well, we're going to be uh, starting about 5 o'clock. We're selling tickets to the event for $25 a piece. And with that ticket purchase, you get uh, into our raffle drawings there that evening. And um, we've got some pretty nice prizes that we're giving away that have been donated around the community. And... Uh, we're also serving a spaghetti dinner to anyone who buys a ticket from us. We're going to be selling uh, Mitch Lingren Memorial sweatshirts and T-shirts and stickers for your car window or wherever you want to stick it. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the things we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a few little 50-50 raffles. And, and uh, Adam, uh, the owner of, of the Jack, Adam Bailey, he's going to be uh, DJing for us later. I should give Bailey my Superman pajamas to wear for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> look good. Num Adam's a big guy, but you make him look like uh, oh, like he's on, one of no. the like, like he's one of the lollipop kids from the Wizard of Oz, for goodness sake. He's I a biscuit away from Big Vern. So. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'm not so sure if Bailey needs any help from an outfit <laughs> standpoint. <laughs> but but this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think it starts right around five o'clock and drawings right around eight o'clock. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. All right. And uh, February 9th again, who's putting this on? I know the Jack, and I, I see this MinnowFaces.com are hosting this fundraiser. What is Minnow Faces? Well, Minnow Faces is a uh, information sharing website for fishing and hunting or the outdoors. Uh, we have about 2,800 users, uh, registered users on our website, and we have a pretty active forum on our website that... Uh, um, talks about everything fishing, hunting, outdoors, fixing stuff, and just general joking around too. We, uh, we're kind of, a, we're, the organization isn't uh, like other internet organizations where it's sort of a sterile kind of an environment where you don't know each other. A lot of us uh, are all friends in the community and stuff. And so we get together um, lots of times throughout the year you know, doing uh, fishing and hunting. We've got guys right now that are up on Red Lake and uh, fishing all over the Northland, actually, this weekend. And um, Okay, and that's, uh, again, February 9th. Now, yep. b before I let you go, Kelly, you're also doing something up at the Sunnyside Car Wash, uh, again, 807 Sunnyside Drive in Cloquet on North Highway 33. Explain what you're doing to help try to raise money for uh, the Mitch Lindgren uh, fundraiser as well for that. Yeah, uh, Carl and I decided to uh, reopen our car wash. Mitch was a mental face, and that's why mental face is making this effort. Uh, he he was a valued member of our group and organization, and Carl and I kind of put our heads together and, well, thinking, well, as mental faces and as friends of Mitch, what could we do to help mental faces with their goal? And uh, that's what we came up with. So we're donating a dollar for every car wash that comes through our car wash. Um, until we meet the mental face goal, which is ten thousand dollars for Mitch's kids. Okay, so uh, I think you even have a sign right out on the highway, correct? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. all right, sounds good. And uh, we're going to let you go, but Kelly, thank you very much, and we'll try to talk about it again here uh, later on during the week.